Yeah, shallow work, shallow. Just come on, really wash your puddles. Come on, let's really dig a hole there. That's the way, brace your wrists. Just keep your wrists down on the handle, yeah. Go to square blade. Yeah. So, hey Chris, have a look here. So lock the wrist down on top of the handle. So the wrist, when you sort of get it up, it sort of gets a little bit, you know. Yeah, lock it down. Keep the wrist a little flatter. Keep the blade square. Right, right, right. Right, little, right square blade. Square, square, square. Yeah, that's it. You get it? You've got to get that wrist connection. That wrist has got to be there. That's there, and that's there. And that's just solid. And you push and press. Straighter back, straighter. Come on, sit up. Sit up a bit more. Yeah, just straight arm, straight, just a crack. And you really feel like you, you can add some. So do another 10 full pressure with that wrist position. Yeah, you feel it in your biceps and your, your elbows that they just crack and you stay suspended. Right, that's a little better. Hold on to that grip, hold on to the handle. Yeah, steady, steady, steady. You know, you've got to slow down because you, you try and sort of get it in and move all at once and, and it's just, you just mess it. Stop the seat, forget the seat, stop, grip it, then go, yeah. You can't jump off the stretcher unless you've got a bit of weight on the handle. Do you understand that? You've got to sit there, grip it. And it's going to feel a bit weird, it's going to feel like you're stopping the seat. Put it in, and jump and press back. Now do 10 power strokes, 10 big ones. Jump and open up. I want you to launch back into Donnie's lap. So get that head and chest and shoulder going back to the bow. Come on, kick that stretcher to death and jump off it. And get the chest moving.